good morning students today we are continuing with our study on indian constitution today let us see another important feature of our our constitution that is secularism no official religion for the many of the many of the term is simple no official religion for the country the word secular means against god so no concern for the government about the religion so no governmental activities should start with official religious activities or prayers but the constitution permits the citizens through its fundamental right to follow any religion since the members of the government or those who are working the government are citizens who are permitted to follow any religion they can have their religious activities but not of a particular religion if they for government like private they can practice anything for a government activities as per the constitution no religious activities citizens are permitted to pray citizens can conduct prayer anywhere any time anywhere that is the fundamental right secularism means that no official religious activity by the government freedom of religion is a fundamental right to citizens that is a meaning of it okay now we will go in a detailed study of it you think in a city majority are christians think around 70 75 now if you go to america if you go to europe they take a new analysis around 75 percent 70 percent of the population are christians so those 70% of the population decide that no other religious members are permitted to stay in their area then it will be difficult for others to stay so these religious members try to trouble the minority they think that only 2% or 3% are hindus are there or 2 or 3% are muslims are there. so this muslims or hindus who are staying along with the christians are not treated well by the majority christians and they say we will not give any facilities to the christian uh, hindus and the muslims then those hindus and muslims will be finding very difficult so the the members of the society should treat every member equally then only there is secularism prayer religious activity is your personal activity you pray but when you interact with other person you permit that person to follow his religion you should not interfere in the religious activity of other person every citizen has got the right to practice his religion so that should be accepted and religious activity is the private activity of the group of people or of the individual but when he takes that religion in his private life or the group it should be seen that doesn't disturb or trouble other group of people who are not following his ideology 
So that is secularism. So the Christians decide not to permit other religious people to live. What would be your response? Would you be happy? We will not be happy. Our response would be what kind of thing in India? They don't permit others to live. Only they want to live. We will react. We will respond. We will complain. So we will be, and sometimes we may speak, but let them come to in, uh, our area where the majority are Christians, or majority are Muslims and uh, um, Hindus, we will treat them a lesson. Will that solve the problem? It will never solve the problem. The, sol the solution is that they must you make you to be happy there and make you to live there. And when they come to the, your area, you must make them to feel at home and permit them to stay. So then only we can say we are secular in our mindset. So secular mindset is that we permit others and they permit us because the differences are so much in the world. Religious differences, color differences, language differences, facial differences, so much Talent differences, height differences, weight differences, food style differences, dress style differences, so many differences are there. So with not all these differences, we should be able to survive. That is what is society. That is what we must understand. We can do. So normally people react stating that the Christians should be taught the same lesson. Where the Jews are more in This is a normal statement. That is the thing that happens in most of us. We are reactionary. When we react, it happens. But we are responding to them, make them understand, and we are ready to treat them in a good way. Things will change. This is the wrong. We must make the Christians to accept that it may be with others. And when we get chance, we must see that they are treated well. So we must treat them. How we treat them? That's what we must That's what we must understand. That is why Nelson Mandela is treated as a great personality. He was ill-treated. But when he got the chance to take revenge on white people, he did not take revenge, but he kept them as a good friends, treated them equally. He told them, leave all the past that has happened, wrong thing that has happened, leave it. Only good things that happen to take it. That is what Nelson Mandela has done when he brought away. That is what when we come to India, our father of the nation is there. He was not hating the British. He fought against the British, but he respected the people of Britain as human beings. So that is what we must do. You may have heard about Jews that persecuted in Hitler's Germany. You know, we will study further now. You are late. Last will study in this year. Nasi Samoa Hitler has ill-treated the Jews. Many of them were killed. Many of them were put in concentration camps. And after the World War is over, in 1948, Israel was created. And Jews were given the permission to stay there. So when the majority of the Jews reached there, there were Christians and the Muslims. But Israel did not treat the Muslims and Christians in the respectable way or in a good way. They wanted the Christians and Muslims to be out of Israel. So the mistake, the suffering they had when they were in Germany and the same suffering they gave to the people of Israel who were living there. So that is not a correct way to deal with it. So when we are suffering, we will protest and say, and when we get a chance, no, 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 we are not ready to give. 
that is the wrong thinking that is the what that is told the wrong by israel israel is a country in asia near to egypt and turkey a small country there it was created and given to the jews after the second world war so there it is now how about the new state israel are treats its own muslim and christians minorities quite bad they are not giving them any equal citizens they are not giving them equal facilities so still fighting protests all the things are going on in israel in saudi arabia non muslims are not allowed to build a temple church etc and all can they gather in public places for prayers saudi arabia is fully islamic country their official religion is islam our very activity of the country starts with islamic prayers no other religion is permitted to function in saudi arabia so saudi arabia is so there is no secular thinking in the mind of the government of saudi arabia that is why this is so we want secular everybody in the world demand for it because we in the modern period people are moving from one place to another and they want such a so we must be ready to adjust with others and cooperate with others and survive so that is why in saudi arabia this is not so the jews who are suffered they are also not ready to treat or give equal chances for others members of the community are either persecuted or discriminated against members of their religious communities in early if you go to european countries even in christianity there were divisions so there were fighting among these two groups of christians so one group used to now still the fight is there with in in england ireland and uh, england england is a protestant group of christians and ireland is a catholic group of christians so both are fighting each other so that has to come to an end so this is kind of thing. secularism means you practice your religion i practice my religion we don't have to fight, fight each other but government should be non religious government officially prime minister or president anything should not permit or should not conduct the religious functions on government expenditure the prime minister he can conduct the religious activity on his own ex- his own expenditure not on the government expenditure that is the what is known as secularism discrimination takes place more easily than one religion given official recognition by the state at the expense of other religions not only in saudi arabia pakistan is a big islamic religion as official religion if you go to britain 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 has got official religion i need to religious christian group is official religion of britain the king should belong to that family that religion is clearly written practice it if king changes the religion loses the power to be king so that is a speciality of the so of britain like the different countries are following their own religions so when it officially becomes other religions are not given facilities but in england and england and other religions are given equal rights in america also we can go on but america is a secular state no special treatment for any religion in india the indian constitution allows individuals the freedom to live by their religious beliefs and practices as they interpret the way they want practice they can practice their beliefs religion is the interpersonal relationship between human being and god the method of being in relationship with god so that is meaning separating the power of religion and the power of the state that is secularism 
Religion is something, one member, state is something. Separate, don't mix it. That is it. One man has to be separate, individual is separate. So, individual is given the freedom of religion. One man is not having any religion. So, there is no concept of freedom of religion. No religion, that one is your separate of religion. That is about a constitution, a secular, secularism. Okay, thank you very much.